Hello and welcome to our channel. Today's video is about a topic that might sound a little bit strange at first, but bear with us because it's actually incredibly interesting. Have you ever imagined what life would be like without private property? Well, on Okinawa Island, that's exactly how things work. In this video, we'll take a look at how the absence of private ownership affects the daily lives of the island's inhabitants, and what we can learn from their way of life. So, if you're curious to learn more about this unique lifestyle, keep watching until the end. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave a comment to let us know your thoughts. Let's dive in. Living on Okinawa Island is a unique experience as it is one of the few places on earth where private property is non-existent. This means that there are no fences, no walls, and no locked doors. The community operates on a system of communal living where everyone shares everything from housing, food, and clothing. The idea of living without private property may seem strange to many, but on Okinawa Island, it has been a way of life for centuries. The island's history is rich with examples of communal living, and this tradition has been passed down from generation to generation. The concept of private property was introduced with the arrival of Western influence in the 19th century, but it never fully took hold on the island. One of the most significant advantages of living in a world without private property is the sense of community that it fosters. On Okinawa Island, people live in extended families, which typically include grandparents, parents, and children. This arrangement means that everyone is responsible for each other's well-being, and everyone contributes to the greater good of the community. Another advantage of communal living is that it promotes sustainability. Since everyone shares resources, there is less waste and less excess consumption. The island is known for its pristine beaches and crystal clear waters, which is a testament to the community's commitment to protecting the environment. Living without private property also means that there is a greater sense of freedom. People are not tied down by the burden of owning property, and they are free to move around and explore the island without the constraints of ownership. This sense of freedom has led to a culture of exploration and creativity, which can be seen in the island's vibrant arts and music scene. Of course, there are some challenges to living in a world without private property. For example, there is no real estate market, which means that there is no way to build equity or invest in property. This can be a significant disadvantage for those who are looking to build wealth or plan for the future. Additionally, communal living can be challenging for those who value privacy or who are not accustomed to sharing resources. There is a certain level of trust that is required to live in a community where everything is shared, and this can be difficult for some people to adjust to. In conclusion, living in a world without private property is a unique experience that has both advantages and challenges. On Okinawa Island, communal living has been a way of life for centuries, and it has fostered a strong sense of community, sustainability, and creativity. While there are some challenges to this way of life, many people find that the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks.